Morning, guys. So Levi's wearing a new outfit. What do you want to say? Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. He loves it. He was very excited. I, uh, it came Sunday, and I knew that I had ordered, when I picked up the bag, it felt like clothes, and I thought, man, that was quick, because I had ordered my granddaughter um, a couple of little outfits off of Amazon. And uh, she's not here all that often, but Sunday mornings we go to church, and I don't know about all y'all, but you know as a grandparent, you dress them in something, then later their parents show up, or they call them for home, or they're ready to go home, and they're still wearing that outfit. So it's like every couple few weeks, her drawer is like no clothes left. So I ordered her a couple outfits. So when that bag was there, I was like, oh my gosh, that was so quick. And, um, but it wasn't, it was shorts and a shirt for him. And, uh, so Kevin, he really loves it. Thank you so much. Hello. All right, we got babies. So I'm gonna, I don't want them to jump out. I hear her. Mom's here. She, her puppy's got a well appointment too. So here they are. Chicks. Ducks and chicks. This one's. Oh no, he's up. So here they are. And here's their little house. I got scratched down. I got a water thing. So I'm gonna start putting them in. They'll have free run. Hello, little duckies. Come on, babies. There you go. <laughs> Don't have free run of this whole bottom coop. Look, chicks are already pecking. Well, I don't know if y'all can see that yet. That one is tiny. Ducks are already in the water. You're okay. Mom's honking for me. I was waving at her. Oh, 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 down, down. They're already pecking. There's your feed. Peck at your feed. There it is. All right. There's our babies. I gotta get going real quick. I hadn't put a light in here yet, but it's hot. So there they are. I don't know if y'all can see good. All right, I gotta get out of here. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Anna. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. I thought maybe that it was something else, which is sort of dumb for me to think that because it was in an Amazon package. So I thought maybe you'd pack something else in a box, but like I said, that was dumb. So thank you so much for this. I can't wait to stick them out there. So I've got the solar. Oh yeah. So I've got it turned on now. And then it goes in the top of this. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like so. And then you put the steak in. And look, I'm covered with my hand and it lights up. That is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love these. I can't wait to go out and put them in the ground. I need to turn that off. Oh, I bet I can't turn it off now that I've done put it in there. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to go stick these outside and then I'll show y'all um, in a little bit how they look in my yard. Maybe I'll go out tonight when they're all lit up. That'll be cool. All right. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Thank you, Anna. All right, we've got a gift. I popped it with my with my knife, and he's getting it out. What is it? Flip it over so you can see. Oh, the snowman. It's a movie. Did you just brush your teeth? Yes. Let's watch it tonight. Okay, well, give me the tag. I don't know if that's make I get that cause it could have a wet. What? Okay. You, you're getting different stories to get in your head. Yes, you are. You talked about a side by side. Somehow something's happening in a wreck. 
and you're going to talk to Jesus about when Jesus comes. <laughs> okay. All right. This is, um, it says, I know you love snowmen. This movie is beloved by my family, especially the, my grandson I raised and myself. I hope you and Levi enjoy it. There is no dialogue, but we love the music. Bless you from Pamela. All right, we'll watch that this evening, okay? Make some popcorn. Yeah. So we went to mom's last night to watch um, Dog with uh, Tatum Channing, and he was like ex-military, and he had to take a dog, a military dog from the base to her previous owner's funeral. It was a really good movie. And um, Bennett sent me a, a, a message, a text that said, bring popcorn because we're out. That's what I was gonna show you. I'll, I'm fixing to go out and show you all the baby chicks and ducks. But this little blow popper, I don't know, it's that brand, Walmart carries. And I have that same little egg, the boiled egg thing. So yeah, I'd taken my other one because I told Bennett I don't make popcorn um, like that anymore. I don't buy it usually, so we just do blow pop. So I took it down there and made him a big pot of popcorn, then put Levi's scoop in, started it, and it made a sound, and then went out and stopped blowing. And in a few seconds, smoke was coming out of it, so I jerked it up and took it out, threw the popcorn out in the yard, left that on the cement slab at Mom and Dad's. So, I had put a popcorn popper in my cart at Amazon, but then I seen this one at Walmart today when we went to pick up Levi's prescription. So, I went ahead and brought it home. It's adorable sitting there on the counter with all the other red things. So, anyway, I'm going to get out now and show you all those babies. And i got to pick up some rocks to put in their water. So, I'm going to go do that real quick. Alright, so I got me a few little rocks in this planter. Um, there's my material for the duck house. And I was like so worried about getting it built like a couple of days ago. I was thinking, yeah, that was dumb for me to panic over that because I mean, yeah, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it. I don't want this sitting out here for long. But the truth is, uh, the baby ducks will be out there with those chickens for at least two weeks, maybe three, depending on what, how big they get. I forgot to bring a light bulb out. I'll have to bring that out a little bit. And I don't want to come out and plant. Anna uh, got me some really pretty um, solar lights. I'm going to put those out a little bit. Then I'll come back out tonight and see how it all looks. I should have already done it because we ain't got much daytime left. But maybe a little bit. And then tomorrow they can get a full charge. Anyway, I still need to get a trash bag and come out and pick up. Remember I showed y'all the other day how full of junk that top section so was. So anyway, there they are. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. They've already got their water so dirty. So I put these rocks in their water. The reason I do that is because baby chicks ha are, have been known to uh okay. hi sweeties baby chicks have been known to um oh my gosh that's heavy one second uh baby chicks have been known to drown so if you put just a few rocks scattered in the water it'll give them something to stand on or to flop up against if uh I usually use marbles um like not marbles well you can use marbles uh it's those real pretty glass stones that go like in fish tanks i don't really want like to do a whole lot of them because uh i'll have to you know pull them all out every time i change their water but this will give them this won't allow any babies to step in there and drown. I'll just put that in there. I'm gonna got, got that tote. 
it's not a deep toad it's probably not any deeper than this board right here and um i'm just gonna sit it in there and pour their feet in it and then put the lid on it and put a scoop in and uh because I just spread their food. Their, their food just spreads. Like right now, they've already dug a lot through it. And all I've got is right now out here is one of these old water things. And I just scatter it around. And I will also put in their water starting probably tomorrow. It's called Corrid. And, um, so I think it was originally made for cattle, um, to keep them from getting sick when, uh, cattle are all together and, you know, close proximity of each other. And like with chickens, look at this stuff. I got to get all this picked up trash back. Um, with baby chicks, you know, they're in that confined area. Now, it's dry right now, and it's not wet. It happens more often when it's like a lot of moisture in the air, so everything sort of stays damp. But still, there'll be so much poop. And, you know, you can go and buy 100 little feeders. They'll poop on that, too. All right, I put a light bulb in there with them. See that one little one right there? I'll have to watch him. He was the one that was sleeping in the box too and they were all sort of walking on him. And look how he's not coming up off his back legs. See how they just walk on him? Mm. I don't know, that one may not make it. See? I guess I can take him in the house and put him in a tote with some food. Uh, you get yourself back. Where are you running to? You little brave girl. So they're all girls. The ducks are the only ones that you just have to buy in a straight run. Um, yeah, they're called a straight run. You don't know if you're getting, you know, drakes or hens. But the chicks are all hens. I buy them pullets only. So there's no roosters mixed with them. They are, look at that little black and yellow duck back there. He's adorable. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna take that little red one in the house and put him in a tote. Maybe let him, he might be the youngest of the batch, you know, when they were born. He may have got hurt in tra <laughs> transit. It looks like he's walking on his knees though. And I had two guineas that came like that and they both ended up dying. So I'm gonna take him out and take him in and see if I can't stray that one little duck's picking on him. Let me get him out of there. Um, no sir, y'all are not gonna pick on her. Come on, little baby girl. Let's go in the house. Okay. I'm gonna put her in this bucket. And I'll take a feeder in. And clean that all up, it's disgusting with that. Nasty. And I'll come out and get her some, I'll get her some feed now. And I will find a tote or a box or something in the house and put her in. Well, actually, no, because the cats, I started saying put her in back in there with food and water. The cats will get her in that. All right, let me go take care of this and um, I'll show y'all her little setup inside the house. See what happens. All right, I found a box. Big enough for one little chick. Connor had some marbles saved from when he was little and collected marbles. <laughs> Let's see, she's already drinking a little bit of water. I splint her legs with, um, I think one of her, her, her I, I know one of them is swollen, so I'm just thinking maybe it got hurt during transit. But I pulled both her legs together with a Band-Aid so y'all can see it. So one, the good leg is bringing the bad leg in, making her walk a, a little bit better, not a whole lot better, but some. And uh, as long as she can 
get around, get a little bit of that feed. I know she wants that thing off her leg, and I don't know, maybe it was, maybe with it just being swollen, I should have left it alone. I don't know, I'll check her again this evening before I go to bed. But um, this, this led to their, so look what I've done. That's all I could find. This, this, you know, the old fashioned night lights, uh, light bulbs still have some heat on them. All she needs is a little bit of heat. I s put a slit in that. This room is the kids' playroom. You can see some of their stuff. Which they, you know, my grandbabies are big now. They don't play too much. But you can see that down in there. It hangs just enough in the middle of this. It's not touching the sides. It's not near the water. Try to get you a good... So you can see her in there. She's over by the water again. I think she'll go under that light if she needs it or she'll move away from it if she don't. That's what the chicks do. So yeah, I'm gonna turn the light off in here and leave her alone for a little bit. And she's already quieted down. That's good. So, um, see how she does tomorrow. How she'll be. If she's not... Oh, I feel like my allergies are messed up too. Mom's got She's going to go to a doctor the morning, in the morning for an allergy infection, but I don't feel sick. I'm just sniffling. But, um, yeah, I don't want her to get up in that corner and get in that water. I'm going to move that water, move that over to more the center. Let me do that real quick. I don't want it right in the corner. She might get up in there and get lodged. There. Anyway... You know, I hate to lose a chick. No one wants to lose anything. But that's just, it's life. I'm gonna give her the best chance I can away from all the other ones pecking on her and picking on her because, you know, chicks do that. We seen, y'all seen the little ducks doing it to her. So her little swelling will go down in her foot and she'll be able to walk. Or there might be something else wrong with her that I can't tell and she might not make it. So, but I'm going to give her the best chance I can right here in this box. She's got a little bit of warmth from that lamp. And, um, she got water and she got feed. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, guys. I'll, uh, talk to y'all later. Um, I'm going to do a video a little bit later tonight when I get the lights put out there in the yard. The solar lights. And, um, I love y'all and I'll check with y'all later. And my phone just said I have low battery. But there's our babies. Now, I've scared them off, but they were all laying underneath this light. So, that's really cute. So, I just wanted to check them before I um, go to bed. And I'm going to show... I put that... I dumped that feed. Now, that's a bunch of trash that I had out here in the yard that I pulled out of here earlier. But I put the feed in that tote... And uh, I'll just put a scoop in there and throw it in every day, a little bit every day when I check them in the mornings. And uh, yeah, look at them coming back up. Oh, the light puts a glare. They're coming back to the light. My gosh, they're adorable. Oh, he's getting him some water. <laughs> Everything baby is always cute. All right, now I want to show y'all the house. I'm not going to turn right on to it yet. Some chickens on there. I want y'all to see. I turned the porch light off. So every so you could see it good. I'm going to This is like a surprise. I'm going to just point the camera down. Hi baby Jane. All right, now when I get up here just a little bit, I'm going to raise my phone. Oh my gosh, it looks like a fairy garden or something. Let me get off to the side here. So, look. <laughs> look at all those little lights. Isn't that pretty? Like a little fairy garden. So the set that Anna got me was eight 
so solar lights and this is how they look oh my gosh they're beautiful look at that there's eight of them and then i still have these little ones truthfully i love the yellow more than i like the white that that soft you know it's like our old-fashioned light bulbs that's what i love so i love these that anna got me that have that yellow glow these are pretty but there's just something about the yellow glow it's just so i don't know sweet and soft and romantic and anyway from far from, from back there or even when I come out like standing on my steps and looking out Let me go up my steps hold on honey it just if well that chicken light out there's so bright and I have these big lights over here um, there is one over here too but it's I don't know it I have new light bulbs and I never took them down but the light didn't come on with the new bulb, so it's something to do with the power to it. I've got to fix it. But I had it always lit up out here. Levi doesn't do what he used to do as much anymore. But he would come out and jump at night. Not while like we're in bed, you know, like everybody's asleep and he's out here jumping. But like right now, at this time of night, 6.30, 7, 8 o'clock, he would come out and jump, and then he would go to the pool. And I was always worried about snakes. So, um, that's why I put up the lights. Plus, out with the animals, I just wanted to be able to look out my back door and see if everything looked normal or did they look like they were running or scattering or something was after them i can see that with the lights if it's just all dark out there you can't see anything but with the lights and i don't have a motion i have them dusted on so that one cat is just steadily crying i don't know where she's at probably on the roof a wild one. Hi, baby. Yeah. Okay. Don't touch me. Who's crying? Chio. Chio. She's over there on the other side of that fence. She's a cat. Jump up the post and come over, Chio. I've been putting her out. She started running out. That's the rescue member that I got at the, uh, when we were at the kennel, at the, lit, at the, shoot. We took something for dad. I can't remember now what we took up there to be spayed or neutered or something. I can't remember now. Anyway, she came in with that, those had to been, I don't know how many cats it was. I didn't think they was ever going to stop coming in with kennel, with crate. Uh, they were those traps, live traps. Some of them had two cats in them. Some of them had three cats, and they just made trip after trip. Anyway, she was the little rescue, and I named her Chio because I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't think of anything original. Everybody loves Jensen's little name. She's named after the movie Memoirs of a Geisha because that little girl you know asian and they don't normally have blue eyes and she had blue eyes and they called her chio something about the water water runs through it or something i don't know anyway i named her that she had those blue eyes and she's got the siamese in her makes her asian so it all just sort of goes together anyway she started running out to, on the front porch whenever i'd go out to check the mail or let honey out or something she, or chia out she would run out too and then within seconds she was like looking in the window of the storm door crying to come back in now she started doing it more often she's going out and staying you know several hours but see it's dark now she's ready to come in and she knows i'm out here so i guess she's crying making sure i don't forget her 
anyway i just love these lights and i and they're just beautiful so anna you did good girl because these are so pretty so pretty and um i'm gonna get back in i'm gonna check on that one baby chick i got inside and then i think i'm gonna take a bath and go to bed so i love you guys and uh i'm gonna get this video out to you as soon as i can god bless y'all